What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and in this video we're going to conclude Spec Ops 22. So let's pick it up right where the last video left off. That of course means we're on task number 25. Now normally there would only be 25 tasks but they had to up the ante for this one. Spec Ops 22 the hardcore Spec Ops. Not for the normal 25 task goers. Oh and by the way the objective is we have to protect Doctor Strange. What this means is you have to go into mission 4 and fight until you see the end boss. During this encounter Doctor Strange is going to be performing a ritual and all we need to do is keep him alive and finish the fight. It's not a terribly difficult encounter because we do have access to all our heroes once again. For this battle you could even use a protector, the sturdier the better. Another thing you could do is use someone like Quicksilver or Omega Sentinel, you know someone with multiple turns. Then what you do with their turns is use items like the Chrono Accelerator, that way you can give your agent multiple turns in one round. Then use those turns to heal or remove debuffs or just plain out damage the enemies. I'm using Ghost Rider just because I saw Infiltrators and I thought it would be cool to take him into this particular fight. He is by no means overpowered or who you should necessarily use. I also have a protect item and counter attacks on my agent, but if your agent can't stand up to attacks, or for any reason you think he may be taken out, then definitely avoid using protect weapons. Instead you can bring in someone like Rescue or Wonder Man, or even the Incredible Groot. What I'm saying is there's no one right way to win this battle. Then depending on how many mini bosses you left around, this battle may be longer or shorter. At least that's how it normally works, but I've never taken down any of the mini bosses before facing Mephisto and Dracula. So yeah, this one's going to be a three wave encounter, first with vampires as you saw, then the second wave contains three demons. Make sure to be careful of this infiltrator's counter because it can be a devastating move. When she has Hell Hath No Fury and you decide to hit her, make sure it's going to knock her out. We did get lucky and our counter took her very low on health, so what we're going to do is on Ghost Rider's turn, we'll use his level 6, and if that doesn't finish her then he'll also get a follow up. Oh and with my agent I'm just going to use the Light Fantastic and make sure our health is topped up as well as clear our debuffs. You can use the Lost Page of the Vashanti for a very similar effect. Then with most of the demons down we only have to finish off the flyer. Well that is after the top demon dies to soul fire. So let's go ahead and use the Blade of the Guardian and that's because it grants us finest hour buffs. Or maybe I should say rising up. But basically I mean the same thing. It would also be smart if your health is low to go ahead and top up your team and you should do that when you have one enemy remaining in the second wave. That way you can go into the final wave against the bosses with full health and preferably full stamina as well. Here you're going to face both Mephisto and Dracula and Mephisto has some extra dialogue for us. So he tells Dracula to feed and then Doctor Strange is going to reply and by the way I think Doctor Strange's dialogue is usually pretty funny. I just think it's odd how he talks and he has to be making things up. I mean, what are the moons of Monopore? All I know is he loves alliteration. Okay, so after Dracula hits us with a living death, we do get a counterattack from our blade. Then I debated using the Atom Smasher, but I'm actually going to use Christmas cookies to give our entire team back their full stamina. The reason I hesitated was because I was still afraid of the bug, but supposedly it has been fixed. I think that you are able to kill Dracula first, but the depower bug may still be in effect so I would advise not to use the power on either one of these bosses. Now after using a Chrono Accelerator on my agent, I'm going to use a Lost Page just to be sure to get our health back up and also remove any debuffs. Then I'm going to test the waters and hit Dracula with the Warbringer Axe. Hopefully this does take him down and nothing bad happens. And so we get a pretty big crit and Dracula is eliminated. He didn't fly away in this case so that's kind of interesting. When I fought him in Mission 3 he turned into a bat and escaped. But that may just be part of the story because we had to fight him again here. Then after we get some counter attacks on Mephisto, we hopefully can take him down in the same way. You can use whatever big hitting weapon you have, maybe even add in a sudden support or damage amplifier, or anything that can boost it, and then try to knock him out. Of course what Mephisto does is uses the Prince of Lies and he disappears. Then right after we get our score and exit the fight, we see that task number 25 is now complete. That means we only have one more to go and it's going to be against an epic boss. However it's not the one we already faced in mission 1. Oh no it's not the hood. It's going to be Dormammu. Now I know this may have been confusing when you first saw this 
But actually, when you go to mission 1 and you complete all the deploys and all the threats, what's going to happen is first you'll get a different dialogue. Now Doctor Strange mentions Dormammu himself. In fact, he mentions how you're going to face him and the Hood. So that is exactly what's going to happen. Once you exit this dialogue and make it through the additional dialogue about the Hood, you're going to see something very different on the map. It's going to be a split choice. But remember, in order to get here, you have to be on task number 26. You have to complete all the threats, including the end boss, and you have to finish every deploy. This includes having Gorgon, Medusa, and Nico. Then simply choose the path that has Dormammu and the Hood. Then as we go into this fight, we're going to have a team up with Blade and Doctor Strange. So basically they choose our team for us. But once again, I don't think this battle is overly difficult, especially since Blade is going to really like attacking that Infiltrator Hood. I will tell you, you may not want to use a Protect weapon because these enemies can and will do a decent amount of damage to your agent. This is especially true if they get all four of their turns in a row. That's when it does get a little bit scary. So, let's take a look at that turn order. And our agents up first, then they do get four in a row. This could get kind of dicey, but at least Dormammu usually doesn't start out attacking. My agent on the other hand does. So I use the blade, that way we can try to get some of those buffs. And then we also get a counter. Next the hood uses a lightning blast, and unfortunately there won't be a counter. Then as expected, Dormammu doesn't use anything that damages our heroes. So that's one good thing, and hopefully we can finish off the hood before his next turn. We're going to get two hits with Blade, and then on Doctor Strange's turn, I actually think I'm going to cast his level 2. This turn was very debatable, I could have done just about anything with Strange. I mean he shields, he heals, he can place an AoE debuff, or just flat out attack. Then with my agent, of course I'm going to try to do as much damage as possible to the hood. This means once again I'm going to use the Warbringer Axe. Unfortunately the hood lives with only 48 HP after he takes his bleeds. That's pretty sick but he does bleed out after he attacks. Next, Dormammu's not going to play around anymore, he's going to start dealing some major damage. It actually did have me scared that my agent might die. So on Blade's turn I use a Chrono Accelerator, and then with that I can set up bleeds, and then use Dead by Dawn. That should grant us the quickening, and then we can use his Bloodlust. By the way, after these attacks, I'm going to use a Lost Page with Doctor Strange, and that way we can make sure we're extra safe. Also, I would really like to use and show Bloodlust, which I believe would allow Blade to finish this fight. I really do think that would be the best ending just before we recruit him. So on my agent's turn to be double safe, I'm going to go ahead and use the Light Fantastic. Let's see Dormammu try to kill us now. Well, first he won't do any damage, because instead he uses an Infernal Shield. Next he's going to use Armageddon which only heals us, and it does cause a counter. So with him at only 5000 HP, I'm going to first use Bloodlust, and next we'll use High Stakes. This has Hallowed, Hemorrhaging Attack, and Fatal Blow. So that is going to be it for the Epic Boss. Now after we get past the score screen, we will see task number 26 pop up completed. For that we're going to get 1 CP and most importantly Blade. That means we only have one more character to get and it may take us a while. Unfortunately I still can't collect daily gifts and I need quite a few more oozes. But as soon as I can I will make a video and as far as the simulator I'm sorry I'm not to it yet. I'm only on task number 3. But hey until then make sure you keep a steak under your pillow. You never know when you might need a midnight snack. Mmm steak. Okay and on to the boss roulette. We're going to see the corned beef and then also they do offer a new EISO. So yeah you don't have to buy it in the store if you're lucky enough to win. The styptic EISO says bleeding only persists for a single turn. I wouldn't mind getting that that way I don't have to buy it. And so let's see what happens. Well hey we got the corned beef so that's going to be our first piece of the hunter set. After looking at it I'm not too impressed but at some point I would love to get the steak thrower. If you're wondering whether or not to buy that, from what I've seen and heard, I think it's definitely worth it. Now as far as this video, I will start wrapping it up, but I will have a Blade video as soon as I can. I actually think I may make a video of them tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe, and also please leave a like and a comment. It really does help myself and the channel out. 
So thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, good luck, and take care.